what's up buddy people so in this video we're going to create an image slider in Adobe XD so as you can see there's a preview of what we're going to do so my name is Neville Paul and hope you guys find my video so interesting and if you're new to this channel please guys just click the subscribe button and also like my video comment below the video that you want me to do and I'll do it for you so as you can see there's a preview of what we're going to do in whole in this uh, whole video and hope you guys will enjoy what you're seeing and learn watch how I did achieve this so um, what I just do will just uh, go straight to um, my upboard so that I can show you guys how to get started with this so the first thing we're going to do I'm just going to close this so the first thing we're going to draw the um, um, the shape which is the path that we're going to mask our images here though our um, our our grouped image grouped images that you've seen sliding there so I'm just going to create this mask very first so as you can see the video is very first so don't mind that because this video is too long before I did that so I just recorded it first so that I can show you guys how to achieve this so the first thing I'm just going to go create this all shape and uh, click the minus button so that uh, it can um, create the mask that we have here so as you can see um, um we've created that so what i'm going to do i'm just going to adjust so the image that it's going to be masked here is a it's um grouped image of five images so we just first arrange the images of how we want them to be and you mask with this shape here so as you can see i've just masked my image and as you can see uh the image is real good so i'll just preview that and as you can see we've achieved what we wanted so it's really first but i hope you guys are seeing what i'm trying to do so i'll just position my image and also then uh, uh, preview it so that i can see um, i have what i want so i'll just close this and uh, try to um, position everything so the next thing i'm going to do i'm just going to create the uh, same artboards drag the same artboards to create like five to six artboards so that i can uh, scroll over these um the other the slide can be automated and as you've seen the preview that i've shown you so i'll be quick with that so I'll just create the upwards here by just copying them, uh, pressing Alt and uh, dragging them down. So as you can see, we've achieved that. So I'll try to position my images in that my mask images so that it can create a smooth sliding that you've seen on the preview video. So um, the thing that I've realized that uh, I position the images wrongly, so I'll have to position the images how I want them to be and uh, this will just i'll just fast forward the video so that it can't take much time so this is what i'm doing so as you can see i'm just arranging the images to um uh, to appear how i want them to be so so that whenever i slide them it will be perfect and as, as you've seen in the um in the preview that i've shown you guys so as you can see this work we have here and it's a best design that i've done so i'll just close that and the next thing i'm going to do guys I'm going to do away with the um the other artboards that I did so I'm going to delete them first there. so as you can see I'm deleting them so I want to create a smooth sliding effect so I'll just do away with that so that I can start from the first to the last so as you can see we have still have our design here so I'm going to copy this artboard so by pressing alt and uh, dragging it to a position we want it to be so I'll drag that again there and I'll drag another one to the right so let me just drag it there so the last that since we have the five images so i'll have to use five artboards for the smooth sliding so we can also achieve these by using components and state but i chose using different artboards because there are some things that if you use with um a component and states you get limited factors so uh i i use uh different uh artboards so that it can i can have control have control of everything that I want to do so as you can see I'm positioning my images to where I want it to be so as you, I'm almost done with the last so I'll just go to the last so as you can see we have all the um, images on the five artboards so the thing is we're going to prototype it so that it can appear at least um how we want it to be so I want whenever uh, in every few seconds it slides to the next image so what I'll do I'll just um, go to my prototype there 
and uh, what I'll do I'll just prototype these in these first upward so I'll use the time function to do that so I'll come here and choose my um, um, as you can see I've dragged that there so I'm going to choose that apple I want to use and uh, I'll use interact interaction of time so whenever this time uh, after this time it will switch to the next upward so as you can see the video is fast forwarded because it took a lot of time to do that so I'll give it a time and also to make it uh, appear more realistic so um, I'm trying my best to be quick so that you guys can understand I hope you guys are getting what I'm trying to do here so I'm just um, yeah so as you can see when we go there we see that we have a sliding effect without clicking anything so we have it uh, it's really first so I'll have to adjust the seconds so what I'll do I'll just adjust the delays and uh, adjust the um, time that we want it to happen so um, let's just have a preview of what we we have here so as you can see we've achieved that so thing is I'm going to change the time there um, I'll change the time so that we can have it to slide like um, the sliding effect to be to appear more realistic and not that for us to disappear so um, as you can see I'm just preparing that and making it to be um, very good by just giving it four seconds oh so as you can see it's smooth how we want it so it depends what we what you want so it's shifting to after every second it shifts to the next hour uh, okay it takes five seconds to move to the next upward so yeah so what i'm going to do i'm just going to play around with these uh, time here so that and also i'm just going to give it some delay so that it cannot just appear uh it cannot just shift to another upward abruptly of zero second no delay so i'll give them delays so that we can have something more realistic hope you guys are getting what I'm, I'm going to do so guys so as this video continues uh, I have a Facebook page with a web, web of code I have a patreon page you can support me on patreon page so that we can have this video posted like every day by just supporting me uh, at my patreon page which is a web of code and also my um, Instagram page is web of code and uh, also my okay there's this website that I have it's net net developed that you can check it out so as you can see we've gotten what we want so the next thing I want to do is I want to make the buttons to whenever we click the buttons it shifts it slides to the same to the other slide so we're using auto animation because auto animations makes things appear more smooth and uh, it's hard to notice that it's shifting to another artboard by uh, giving it some time so what I'll do we'll just come here and uh, try to um, give these uh, whenever we click we first of all I'll have to design the buttons to have five five buttons so that whenever one clicks on one button it up uh, it um, gets him to him or it gets the user to the next uh, artboard so I thought of using um, um ungroup uh group re grid but it wasn't suitable so i chose to use just i group the object so i i remove the group re grid so i'll have to use our uh, what i've oh uh, no group re grid so i'll have to create all this so it will be a little bit first i forward my image to so that i can get these achieved so uh, I'll have I'll just go silent too so that the all these things can be positioned so that we can have um we can be able to switch to another upboard by just clicking on the buttons that you you are seeing me creating so I know the video is too long but guys this thing is very interesting so in this video um, I'm showing you guys how to switch on upboard so that uh, you can have something realistic something that whenever you create you love it and uh, you can explain how you've done that so all these things as I said all these can be achieved by just um, create using component and state but um, component and states uh, sometimes has limited use so uh, 
sometimes you're forced to use um, these different attributes so that you can achieve what you want. So the next thing I'll have to prototypes to prototype all the buttons so that it can uh, move to different attributes as we did the first time. So sit back and enjoy what I'm trying to do here. So we'll do this to all the buttons and make sure you align them according to the output so you'll be keen on which adbot that you adbot that you trying to sue them to so i know what adbots i'm using so uh, as you can see it's really really fun to do that so we'll test that as you can see when i click on that it switches to the next adbot so i'll have to do this to the whole whole uh, adbot so prototype these very first so uh, it will take some time that's why I took my time to first for this video uh, so that we can it can not take much time and uh, be boring I want this class this video to be more interesting by showing you guys how to prototype and how to create slides uh, using um, different artboards that as you can see here so I just I chose these to create these are um, design because i love this movie here this movie uh, planet of the ape it's a movie that i really enjoyed it and i really love the story so as you can see uh when we click on that all the upboards have the same um effect so when we click on that it switches to different upboards and this is really really good achievement so guys thank you guys for taking your time watching this video and hope you guys have learned something and uh, I wish you guys to join me to the next video which I'll be showing you guys more stuff so thank you guys for watching and hope to see you in the next video don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like don't forget to share and follow me on my Patreon pages web code bye